hello guys welcome to my this video and today in this react tutorial i will show you how to display array and how to update array using usestate reactor because guys when we update or in when we add any uh, anything in dom so in react we cannot do that manually here react decide how dom will update so that time we need to use usestate react hooks okay that i have discussed already in my previous video if you haven't watched my previous video so then just you have to go to my channel and there you will find the playlist and you have to go there and there you will find react tutorial so all those tutorial you have to watch from begin and you can understand easily okay so guys using react hook so just here i have to import so here i will import use state because i will use used it react hook so simply here like this way i have to import okay and this is importing from react because guys this is default features of react so i have to take it from react okay it is same like when we use jquery i hope we know the jquery so guys when we just uh, use jquery so that time we need to add the link like we write script source and inside the source we write the link okay so same link with here we need to import if i don't import use state so we cannot use that okay it is clear and now guys i have to use so what i will do just inside our functional component here i will write const okay and array and this array will be similar to use state okay like this this is the syntax and this array takes two values okay first is the variable okay so and the second is for updating purpose let's see suppose guys i'm defining a simple array in a variable so what we do just var or const whatever suppose const okay and the variable name is array and here we just define this array like this okay so same thing just i'm trying to add by use state so here this is our default value so here what i will do just i will copy and inside here i will paste and this is variable so i'll copy this variable and it takes two values first is variable and the second is update purpose so here anything you can write but i will write set array like this okay and this one i will remove so like this this is our use state so now guys i have to display this array so how can do that so when we just go to display an array so that time we use for loop for each loop filter map like this in react we mostly use filter so what i will do just i will copy this variable because this variable i assign this default array and this is for update purpose so now it's not needed so here just i will add curly braces and this array arr this variable dot map and parenthesis and inside this parenthesis i will take another parenthesis and it takes two parameter again first is the value and second is the index okay and then equals to arrow like this okay it is done so value means those value it will display and index means it will display 0 1 2 3 the index i hope it is clear and now here again curly braces so before that just i will add a tag h2 tag because inside this h2 tag i will display this array value so here again curly braces okay and now first I, if i display index so here i have to write this i by the way this parameter name those parameter name you can write anything here you can write like value also here if you want to add index you can do that either if you want to add your name so you can do that whatever you want to add you can do here right here okay so now it is clear so what i will do just i will keep it i and value okay val is a short form of value and i is a short form of index so now i'll just do save and i will check here so here you can see it is showing 0 1 2 3 so means array is this uh, array index is displaying 0 1 2 3 but i need the array values so what i will do instead of i just i will display here value so you will get it is displaying values so guys why i i have taken this i so guys if you check the console here you can see it is showing error it is saying that we need the unique key okay 
so unique key means it is displaying one two three four so every list we need a unique key so it is looping one two three four it is looping and displaying so every here it is need a unique key so if i open this one so here this h2 tag it's displaying okay so inside this h2 tag it's need the unique key so how i can add so simply here key and curly braces and now here just you have to add the unique key so you can pass here i okay and here now if i refresh and if i check the console so error is removed and here if you go to dom so you cannot see the key here okay you cannot see the key here but it will remove the error so if you want to check key is unique or not so you can pass id first so now here you can see the id is unique 0 1 2 3 so that is actually we don't need id we need key so just you can understand it it will display unique or not so first you can pass id so it will display in dom and you can check it it is unique or not and then you can uh, you can replace this key okay so now guys here i have passed i so i is the number because we know it's a it's a just denoting index so index is the number so what i'll do here i will pass to string so string it will just this number i mean this index it will convert in a string okay means 0 1 2 3 those will be now string value okay those are now string value you cannot understand here and i will not go more about it but you can uh, you have to write here two string okay and now guys here just i have passing uh, this string i mean index so before that guys here one thing you have to do write double inverted comma plus because you have to just concatenate one thing that is here you have to pass uh, here suppose i'm displaying just number okay so here you have to pass number like a new m because this string value you can pass anything but here related name you, you have to pass i'm displaying number so i have written num okay so now save and here you can see it is num0 num1 num2 num3 means it is unique so now just i'll replace this id to key okay because i need actually key so now you can see it is not displaying in dom but it's actually react syntax when we just uh, loop so that time every list i mean those h2 it's called list okay so every list need a unique key value okay so that's why we pass key and the unique so string first i have passed number and then this index and two strings so this index it will make the unique one okay because it here by this index it, it is displaying 0 1 2 3 means some unique number always it will display so that's why i have passed here i hope it is clear if you have any doubt so you can please write in comment section and i will try to solve your doubt so this is now simple array and now guys here suppose it's a multiple object okay so that time how can i do that so here simply it's a first object name and name value is a and here i will pass the surname so surname value is double a and same way just i will copy this thing and here i will paste and after that just i will change it to b and here i will add double b okay so now i have to display those objects so it is very simple it is same like i have to display okay so value value will denotes those value okay so from this value i need first name so what i will do just here i will pass name so now you will find it will display a and b as a name so here okay so i have passed here object but this object need to wrap by an array okay because this is an array object okay so now if i save and here you can see name i'm getting a and b okay so now i have to display this surname also so here i have to take the another tag that is p tag okay like this and again same thing first i have to pass this key okay and here i will copy this one and 
I'll paste and instead of name I have to display surname so I'll copy this property and paste here but guys here you can notice it is showing error why it is showing error because guys in react everything it should be wrapped here this is the single element and this is another element but it is not wrapped by anything so just here you have to wrap so how can do that so here I will take any any tag it may be the deep it may be section anything you you have to write here okay so I have taken just deep and now here I will cut those things okay so simply you can see it is error is removed and now I will paste here so see here and now I'll just format this one so it will be a formatting uh, way uh, now guys here see now it will loop this deep only not h2 right so if I show here so save and if I go so see first name and surname is this one and here name b and surname is double b okay so now here if I uh, show in the DOM so you can notice it is looping this deep so if i just hover so you can see it's highlighting so this deep and this deep means i don't need to pass key here because now it is looping this deep is looping so deep key should be unique okay so that's why guys here just this key i will cut from here and here i will paste it okay and from here also i will remove so now it will be fine okay here you cannot see the difference but error should not be given okay and you can see error is not there so means this loop which one will be loop so there you have to pass the key so now deep is looping so you have to pass the key here this but guys another thing related name i had shown you so here i am displaying name right so means something details details about anyone so here instead of num just here i will write details okay by the way i again i am saying this name you can pass anything this key key one but guys always try to write the similar name okay because guys suppose here the another you state and you have to display the another array so that time if name should be similar so it will be better okay i mean this key value it's similar so it will be better so i hope it is clear and now guys this is just simply i have displayed this arrays and now suppose guys here is the nested array so then how you can display so just i'll format this document and now i have i will create here nested array object okay so here i will add comma and just here i will put the address as well so address is the property and it's an array and again an object and here just i will add suppose uh, house number so i am writing here h n o this is house number property name and i will pass one house number is one and street okay suppose street is uh, any value just i will pass here okay this one and here suppose there is a two address for this person okay so comma and house number is two and street is same so same way just i will copy this one okay and just i will minimize this and for this second person i will post okay and just i will change it some different value okay like this so now our st array structure is this okay i hope it is clear how i have created this array so now i'll just do save and now i have to display the address now it is still you can see only name and surname it's displaying and i have to display the array so this uh, this uh, address sorry so this address is inside this object okay and this object i'm displaying means this one so just here simply again i have to take an curly basis okay and now this value i'm getting those like this okay so here in this value there is an address okay so what i will do just i will copy this address property and here i have to add the loop for this value because value means first 
this one and inside this address so value dot address and then dot map here parenthesis again parenthesis and here just i will pass a parameter so now i will pass address okay and the another index so here i will pass suppose j you can pass anything i pass j and now here this and say same way here you can see i have passed this thing so here i will pass again a div another okay i will close this div and i have to pass the key in this div key equals to layers sorry curly braces actually i have to add curly braces and this is i'm um, passing address so i'll just add a string value address plus and j okay this one and now here inside this just here i have to pass uh, suppose h3 tag okay and inside this h3 tag first this value by the way this parameter you can write anything so i will write here address value so it will be better so address value dot first is house number hno and here i will take uh, another tag that is called h4 and i will bind it and address value dot state like this so save and see here it is displaying name a surname this house number this this one and again okay the another address two and same and now name b surname this and this address okay it is clear okay so now you can uh, display it by ULLI anything whatever you can add so you can do that okay but I hope it is clear how to display this array it is very simple and now guys if you don't add this uh, key here so you will find the error okay so if I open the console see it is showing error because if I go to element so here you can see first is 2d okay this 2d means first person and second div means second person so if i open the first person div so here is the name surname and now it's looping again 2d for two address okay this is first address okay and this is second and address so here you can see first and second just notice the highlight okay so this div also need a unique key so that's why here you have to pass another unique key okay it is clear i hope if you have any doubts so you can write in comment section and you can see the error is removed okay so i hope it is clear how you can display the array uh, using u state and you need to add u state because when you will update this array so without u state you cannot do that okay so in the next video i will show you how you can update this array okay in this video i will not show you because this, this video will be so long so i don't want that and it will be just feel bored so that's why here i'll stop this video and in next video i'll show you how you can update this array okay when i'll click the button so here it's an uh, one person a like this so it, it will be at the another of object okay and it will display here so that i will show you in my next video so i hope guys you have enjoyed this video and if you find this video is helpful so please like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more updates